Hello everybody, today I have this 2010 DD15 engine. This specific engine has a major engine failure. Um, the engine failure is in two separate problems, but I'm going to show you one right now. I'm gonna make a different video with the other one. So the first problem that this engine has as a major problem is a broken cylinder liner, a broken cylinder. How do you know when you have a broken cylinder on your truck? Um, there is a physical noticeable uh, failure that you're gonna see in the engine is misfiring. The engine could be able to run, but it's gonna misfire, it's gonna shake a lot, it's going to have no power. But the other way you're gonna know is then you're gonna have water on your oil as you can see in this cup there is a lot of water in the oil this is a major engine failure if you have oil in your coolant um, it is not too critical but if you have water coolant in your oil that is serious so uh, as we pull the oil gauge we can see the oil level is all the way up as you can see because there is a lot of water in the system and it looks like kind of brown as you can see because there is water contamination in the oil other problem how you gonna notice that your engine has a broken cylinder if the engine is misfiring and if you don't see water in your cap or water on the uh, gold in the oil gauge you're gonna see then the crankcase filter over here is gonna be blowing a lot of steam over here like a lot of white smoke coming and a lot of oil as you can see over here there is a lot of oil and that over there is watered with oil mixed together as you can see because the high pressure uh, compression from the cylinder is coming all the way to the uh, crankcase system and the crankcase is trying to get rid of that so you're gonna see a lot of pressure coming down over here like crazy and uh, that will actually tell you then you have a broken cylinder on your truck there is no way to know if this, going, this problem is going to happen to your engine because um, it's really hard to know when a cylinder liner is going to break uh, but it's, uh, all, it's a common problem on DD15 engines, DD13, DD16s uh, the cylinder liner breaks from the bottom where, where it sits on the engine block but that doesn't mean that it's gonna happen to every single engine uh, in this case this engine has this issue and this engine has around 800,000 miles but I have engines with 1,200,000 miles and they are still running with the original engines, no overhaul and they don't have this kind of problems. So a lot of this kind of problem has to be in how the person drives the truck and how the, man, the, how's the maintenance of the truck. So that's pretty much all. Anyway, this engine has this issue and it has to be repaired. To correct this problem, uh, we have to take the engine apart, the top cam housing, the cylinder head, and then take each cylinder out, replace the, uh, the, um, the rod bearings and the crankshaft uh, bearings to prevent problems. Replace the pistons, replace the rings, replace the oil pump, replace the oil pump O-rings, and replace the oil pump suction model, which are the most important parts of any overhaul after you put everything new so um, pretty much that's all has to be done to this engine to fix this issue um, if you don't want to spend that much money on an engine um, you don't have to replace the head if you don't want to but you are forced to replace all the cylinders because uh, in this case I'm pretty sure there is only one cylinder that is broken usually that's how the way it goes only one cylinder breaks and this issue happens so you can just replace that cylinder that is broken but it's always better 
to replace the six cylinders even if you don't replace the head even if you don't replace uh, anything from the top but all from the bottom has to be new uh, including the uh, rod bearings the crankshaft bearings and the uh, oil pump um, and the o-rings and the suction model you have to replace that because it's very important on these engines even if you don't replace the cylinder head as i said before you can do it that way so uh, you can save some money if that's your case i mean if you want to save some money but in my opinion it's better to do the whole repair at once so you can actually get a new engine after the overhaul i'm not sure if i'm going to do the engine on this truck but if i do i want to do a video how to do the engine overhaul on a d15 engine uh, as many people has been asking me for this kind of um videos but at the moment i need to consult with the owner of the truck um so pretty much this is all i'm going to show you on this video about the cylinder liner broken um if i repair this uh truck i'm gonna yeah i wanna do more videos about it so you can see how the process go and how a broken cylinder looks like on a dd15 engine so if you have any questions about this video you just can use the comment section below to leave questions about this specific problem the broken cylinder on a dd15 engines or dd13 or dd16 pretty much is the same problem um if you have suggestions, if you have experience, recommendations about this problem, you can do the same. You can use the comment section below. Or if you want to answer questions of other subscribers, if you want to send some support to my channel, you can check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel so I can continue helpful, uh, making helpful videos like this one for everybody on the road, on their shops, or any other uh, reason why people watch my videos so like share subscribe and thank you for watching